I have got some very exciting news for you guys. I've got a new job, which feels great. I'm looking forward to it loads. But at the same time, I realise that that first week at a new place is going to be really stressful and hectic. So I thought that I could help myself out a little bit by planning the outfits that I want to wear for my first week at my new job. I have never really been a blazer person, but my new colleagues, they don't know that. So I thought that to start the week off strong, I'm going in with a blazer, with a polo neck and a pair of jeans to make it just a little bit more casual and then tying the entire outfit together with the statement belt that I thrifted in last week's video. And something that I feel is a little bit scary with going into a brand new work environment is that I'm not really sure how business versus casual they are going to be. Like, do people come to work in a full suit or jeans and a t-shirt? And I thought this outfit was the perfect mix of both because if I feel too formal in the blazer, I can just pop it off, but the outfit still looks presentable. Now I just need to pop on outfit number two without getting all of my makeup on the uh, top that I want to wear in just a couple of days. Wish me luck. I am someone who loves wearing skirts and dresses and I figured that because of that I wanted to show up in a skirt at least once during my first week and this is the outfit that I put together because keep in mind we are still in winter here in Sweden it is still very cold out so I figured that a big chunky jumper would work really well paired together with a long maxi skirt and then under the maxi skirt I can wear a really thick pair of tights, I can wear a pair of high boots, and by doing that I will still keep warm. And I think that this jumper works really well in an office environment because the collar is really large but at the same time it does sort of remind me of the collar of a shirt but in a jumper format and I just thought that that was quite fun. And by pairing together the right accessories, so I have a black belt, I'll have my black boots, my black bag, and I think that can help just tie the outfit together and make it quite sophisticated even though it is a maxi skirt and a jumper. I don't want to take this off. I'm like really feeling myself in this outfit. I think it looks amazing. I can't wait to wear it to work. I wanted to do at least one outfit where I was wearing just a plain button-up shirt because I do think that that is like the core of um, an office outfit to be honest. I think many people do wear shirts to the office and I do think that the outfit that I put together may be a little bit too bright and summery considering the season that we are in but I just thought that it was a fun outfit, very like coastal and uh, yeah just a little bit of fun. I love that the leather on my watch matches the leather on the belt and I also have a pair of brown Chelsea boots that will work really well with the outfit. And to be honest, when I am at work, I will probably be wearing the uh, cable knit jumper that I've currently just popped over my shoulders um, because I am a cold human being and I get cold very easily. So I think I'm going to need the jumper for some extra warmth, but I thought that this was a fun way to style it. Okay, so looking at myself in the viewfinder, I realized that I do really like the outfit, but I'm not sure if it is maybe just a tad too preppy. Um, I think I will save this one for later on in the week when I've had a chance to like see how do my colleagues dress because if people are just coming in jeans and t-shirts then I think this may be a little bit too much but if they are shirts and suit trousers people then this is definitely on point. This outfit is the one that comfort-wise is definitely the most comfortable to wear because I've brought out my favourite brown suit trousers. These are ridiculously comfortable. It feels as if I'm wearing a pair of pyjama bottoms, even though they look a lot more professional than that. And then I've popped on a knitted jumper because I do love my knitwear. Um, if you haven't been to this channel before, then uh, I, I have too much knitwear. I love knitwear. And also, if you haven't been on my channel before, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. But back to the outfit. But instead of just doing a suit trouser and a cardigan, 
I added a blouse underneath that has this really large collar, almost like a Peter Pan collar, but this is like even bigger and it's more like floral and embroidered. And I just thought that it added a really fun touch to the outfit. And also again, because I am wearing a blouse, it feels a little bit more business appropriate compared to just wearing a jumper. But I'm not really sure if it goes too much into the realm of cottagecore and it leaves the professional business wear realm a bit too far behind. I would like your thoughts and opinions on this, so let me know in the comments down below if you think this is something that could work to the office. Um, I think it does because it is very comfortable and it still looks a bit dressed up, but maybe it's too cute. With this final outfit, I can't really decide if I love it or not because I brought out the blouse that I thrifted in my previous video and I really love the blouse. It is green with these huge sleeves and gorgeous cuffs. And then to add some warmth but still show off the amazing sleeves, I popped a sweater vest on top. And a sweater vest is something that I have seen many a Swedish woman go to work in, so I do feel comfortable with that. But then I have been a bit unsure which trousers I should pair it with, so I ended up going for the jeans that I showed you in the first outfit. And that's also because I realised that I only own two pairs of jeans and the others are in the wash, so we're doing these again. And I don't know if I think it is a good mix of like relaxed but still nice looking clothes to wear to work, or if it's just to stay at home, slouchy. Um, I'm not really sure. I also think that I will have to save this towards the end of the week just to get a feel of how do my colleagues dress? Will this be appropriate? Personally, I think this will work really well. That's why I put it together. But we shall see what my uh, colleagues end up looking like. So those were the five outfits for the five first days at my new job. And I hope that this has been able to give you some ideas and some inspiration, perhaps what you could wear to work. But at the same time, like I've said, I am new to the whole working in an office environment, so if you have any outfit ideas or things that you think I should alter with these outfits, then please let me know in the comments down below because I am new to this, I am learning, but hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and also make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. So I will see you in my next video, and until then, take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye!